the first thing about recording live in the studio is the energy. It's the kind of the energy you're giving each other from the playing, but it's also the excitement of being together playing music in one place. I wrote the song Long Way To Go when I was on tour um, and then brought it back home and kind of sat with it for a while. The song, the, the concept of it was written before the pandemic, so uh, it's a really simple song. It's, it's like, no matter what in life, you can work and work every day and push hard, but there's still such a long way to go. And it's kind of like that old saying where it's like, you know, the road is never ending, right? It was, it was just the, the feeling of, I've already put in so many miles, but I know and I hope that I have millions more ahead of me. And musically, it's just like a freight train. It's just like a rocker. It was, it was one of those songs I didn't overthink. And when I started to play riffs, there's a point where you can start to say to yourself, okay, how can I make this better? It's always about how can I improve this? But with that song, I just kind of stuck to my gut and stuck to my guns and I was like, this feels great. Let's just cut it like that. Well, I'm a long, long way from home Trying to run away my ghost I've been born down to the bone It's a long, long way, it's a long, long way to go Poking bottles on the nightstand of your clenched in my hair Looking for a way to drown you out Think that I'm afraid, I don't know how Million miles going nowhere Remember when the dream was so clear Vance in the past first time I got on stage and played live, I was 15 years old. I wasn't, you know, I, I was at an open blues jam. I remember the feeling I had. It was like riding a roller coaster for me. I was so excited. It was like a, a nervous excitement, like, oh, this is all happening, right? And it's, there's just something magical about recording live. So when we get to come to Sweetwater Studios and play these songs live in a room that sounds amazing, it feels inspiring. It's just like, it takes you to a different level. So Down the Drain was a song that I wrote probably about six months ago without any indication or clue that it was gonna be on a record, I was gonna release it, nothing like that. It was a song I wrote with a few friends. And the one thing about it was the main guitar riff was stuck in my head for like the past three years. Every time I'd pick up a guitar in a, a drop D tuning, I would play this riff, really simple guitar riff but for some reason it was stuck in my head. And I always said, one day I'm gonna have somewhere to put that. So I was hanging out with some friends and we were gonna write a song and I started to play that riff. And it's always a good thing when your buddy says, 
you know, that riff, what is that? And I'm like, oh, well, we can use it, you know? So we wrote the song around that riff. And it was kind of a song that I'd written like none other before. There was only an acoustic guitar in the room. We weren't thinking in a term of, oh, will this be a great song to play live, you know, to record. It was just a song we wrote for fun. So a few days later, we demoed it and everyone was really digging it. I thought it was cool. And then it got sent to some people that I work with and everyone freaked out. And I was like, okay, so this is a really good response. Maybe we should think about cutting it. When you love me, it feels like I'm circling down the drain. Is it pleasure? Am I empty or addicted to the pain? Down the drain. Circling down the drain And I stay here forever Until my dying day Watch me go down Watch me go down